Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here, and today I'm here with Trez. Hey guys, I'm a blacksmith. And today we're going to be testing a blacksmith. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Black, black, it's a myth. Let's go check out the shop. Cool. Okay, so right now we're going into a working blacksmith shop, and this is pretty much my dream. Check this out. <laughs> Everybody's childhood dream. Now that is cool. What is that? That's a 1902 Champion Power Hammer. Power Hammer. Yeah. How does that work? More power. More power. Dude! That's scary. <laughs> Don't put your fingers under it. It's got an electric motor that drives a belt. Awesome. And as this spins, it raises it up. It was originally designed to hammer a th on a 32 inch wagon wheel. Yeah, so you could put a 32 inch wagon wheel on oh, there. Oh, okay. Do, do, do. Nice. <laughs> Trez, this is an awesome shop you have Thanks. here, and I'm super jealous. Glad you could come. So the myth is that if you spit on the anvil, and then you take a piece of hot metal out of the fire, right. and you hit it with the hammer, right. it'll send the hammer through the roof of the place. Sure. <laughs> Trez, hold on. Sure. We've got to be, got to be a little bit more dramatic. We're trying to make some clickbait here. Okay, okay, okay. sure. <laughs> okay, we got it. Yeah, I heard it could send it to the moon. Yeah, that's what I heard too, so, so let's try this out. <laughs> Like the old wives' tale is that you're supposed to ring the anvil three times before you start. Huh? The Got next the fire step ready. Is to pour some water on the anvil. That's awesome. All right, first shot. Let's try it out. Ready? Is this gonna be? Is it gonna be loud? Should be. Oh man. Whoa! <laughs> well, good one. Did blow the hammer through the roof? <laughs> the theory behind this myth is the drops of water would flash into steam, which would push the hammer right back out of your hands. But the force of the steam just wasn't enough to lift up the hammer. What it did do was make a pretty impressive bang and the sparks looked super cool in slow motion. I was just pretty excited to get to try it for myself. All right, All right you ready? Yeah. Push your button. You're good to go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going to try it. Right? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> That's cool, huh? My ears are ringing. Yeah. That's loud. It is. It is. I have the power! <laughs> you got to get that shot. <laughs> yeah. I got to check out the high speed. That was yeah, sweet. Yeah, that was so cool. That's a big hammer. Five pounds. Not going anywhere. <laughs> right? Myth busted. Okay. Okay, now we're going to try to do the steam explosion inside of that power hammer. This should be cool. Maybe a bigger hammer will get bigger results. Oh yeah, that's a scientific method. If it doesn't work, hit it with a bigger hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that if the regular hammer didn't work, the power hammer wasn't going to work either. But I just really wanted to see this thing again. It is crazy. I really want to do a power hammer versus destruction video. So if you got any ideas for that, leave it down in the comments. That was super cool, but it didn't quite blow the hammer through the roof. No, the roof. it didn't. If it worked the way you wanted it to work, I mean, I'd have a hole in my roof and my neighbors would be worrying about a five pound hammer coming down on their heads. So it's a normal thing that blacksmiths do? Yes, yes okay. very much so. Mainly with like uh, people that make samurai swords, that Japanese style, it's called wet forging. Wet forging. And the steam explosion blasts off all of the... Uh, Scale. But you can see the surface. Yeah, I can see is, that. It's pretty clean. You know, where here's the scale. Yeah. And scale is basically iron oxide, which is basically rust. Yeah. In, in another form. But you can see how clean this is. There's no scale on it at all from the wet hammering. Thank you, Trez. That Any was time, awesome. Man. It Any was time. A, it was a blast. Cool. I'm glad you had a good time. I did. And Trez here, he's got his own YouTube channel about blacksmithing. He's got a couple of videos, so we'll put the link down below and you can go find that. And you can learn how to blacksmith. Yeah, exactly. You can learn how to do this stuff yourself. And he teaches blacksmith classes. I do, yep. And he is a blacksmith and he makes things. So I'll put his email address down below if you want to give him a call or a text. Whatever, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, have fun. That's have it. Have fun. That's right. Get it hot and hit it hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. Yeah, my pleasure, dude. <laughs>